on Hollywood and crime. Dennis Rodman is known as the bad boy of basketball. I want to ask you guys one thing. Why the hell am I playing the game of basketball this year? But his crazy antics on court are nothing compared to what happened off court when he hooked up with sexy actress Carmen Electra. Dennis Rodman, charged with one count of battery. Hi. Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra are one of Hollywood's most notorious couples. Wherever they go, the paparazzi follow. But this duo actually loves the spotlight. As infamous as they are together, separately, they each dominate the tabloid headlines. From the moment Rodman hit the basketball court, he caused controversy. His outrageous tattoos, body piercing, and flamboyant hairstyles infuriated sports traditionalists. But he delivered. He won a total of five world championships, including three with the Chicago Bulls. Off court, his scandalous behavior was a problem. Carmen Electra made her way to the top by bearing it all. Electra initially came to Hollywood to be a singer. She was the artist formerly known as Prince's protege, but her singing career never took off. So Electra turned to modeling. She posed for Playboy and got the exposure she needed. In 1996, that led to her big break with MTV's Singled Out. Later that same year, Electra was hired to replace Pamela Anderson on Baywatch. I'm part of Leilani McKenzie. She's uh, from Hawaii, and she comes to L.A. because she wants to be a dancer. And she pursues a, a career in um, lifeguarding to make money to support herself. She was one of the sexiest stars on television. When basketball's most nefarious star met TV's sultry lifeguard, the sparks flew. All right. You know what I'm saying? He's the nice superstar in the world right here. But their relationship was a roller coaster of passion. On November 14th, 1998, they took the first big plunge just a few months after they met. In a hush-hush, last-minute ceremony, Rodman and Electra were married at a Las Vegas wedding chapel. Larry Burnett, anchor for KLAC Radio in L.A., followed the story. There's so much that was so weird about that whole situation. I mean, he, he, he tells her to fly to Las Vegas. Uh, he wakes her up at 7.30 in the morning after he's been drinking all night, and he says, let's go get married. But that's the way, you know, that's the way Dennis is. It's very spontaneous. That's for sure. Just nine days later, on November 23rd, Rodman slammed on the brakes and filed for an annulment. I don't think anything lasts forever with Dennis. I mean, he's, he's got a very disposable type of life. Carmen fought back, saying the marriage was for real, even though Dennis's agent was adamantly denying it. You know, was this a, a love marriage, or was this, you know, Dennis maybe wanted to uh, get some of the limelight off of Carmen, or was Carmen riding Dennis's uh, coattails to try to get some, you know, the spotlight back on her? Little more than a month later, Rodman hosted a rambling press conference announcing his plans to join the Los Angeles Lakers. Carmen was by his side. She's been a real backbone to me the last uh, few months, and she's um, she's been there. She, she's very uh, she's been very good to me. You know, here they are. It's, it's a very unusual yet high-profile couple, uh, supposedly separated. You know, now back together at this uh, you know very important news conference. It was pretty strange. Not surprisingly, on the question of their marriage, Rodman remained coy. Now she has a house here, and I live in a hotel. Carmen was more explicit. We're friends now, and um, you know we love each other very much, but it just it just couldn't work out. So we're friends, and I think it's better that way. Despite Electra's appearance at the press conference, the marriage was apparently over. Carmen focused on her acting. Rodman bounced in and out of basketball and bounced with world championship wrestling. The relationship took its steepest plunge while the couple was staying at the Bentley Hotel in Miami Beach. Pedro Zapata is the general manager. Mr. Rodman, uh, it's a regular guest here at the Bentley. He's always a, a very low-key uh, gentleman. But not the morning of November 5th, 1999. Rodman and Electra were in their favorite penthouse suite. And according to defense attorney Roy Black, the couple started arguing. And things got out of hand. 
they were arguing over some silly matter that was on MTV. Somehow the yelling and what have you spilled out into the hotel lobby. And needless to say, when you have two well-known celebrities like this, everybody's immediately on their cell phones. Somebody calls the police and of course it escalates from there. Both Rodman and Electra were arrested and taken to jail. Within a few minutes, a friend of Rodman's put a call into Black, the top defense attorney in Miami. They were both charged with what's called simple battery, meaning getting in a fight. Unfortunately for them, and, and what most people don't know today, if they put the adjective domestic before that, it becomes like a capital crime. Under Florida law, Dennis and Carmen could not be released on bail. They had to appear before a judge and it would take time to find one. I went to the police station and, and it, it took some talking, but they let me in to speak to both uh, Carmen and Dennis. And I remember Carmen is crying and her, uh, you know, her face is all, uh, you know, makeup running down and mascara. And you could tell she was very upset. Black is one of the few people to share a private moment with a famous couple. Well, it was obviously a, 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 a very close, uh, loving relationship, because I will tell you, uh, as I said, Dennis, had no concern for himself at all. And he said, whatever you can do to get uh, to take care of uh, Carmen, please do it. And if I have to stay here for a couple of days, uh, I can handle it. Thanks to Black, neither Carmen nor Dennis had to spend the night in jail. They were arraigned later that afternoon and released on a $2,500 bond each. The judge ordered them to have no communication at all with each other. Understand that? A few weeks later, all charges were dropped by the state attorney's office, and the stay-away order rescinded. But later that same year, Rodman had more trouble with the law. He was arrested on a DUI. But Dennis eventually seems to push the envelope uh, a little too far. Following his arrest, Rodman went back to the court, the basketball court. He joined the Dallas Mavericks, and despite his tumultuous life, the fans were still there. As far as Carmen Electra goes, insiders told us that Rodman recently furnished his temporary home in Dallas for himself and Electra. So perhaps their tumultuous love affair is still going on. Only Dennis and Carmen know for sure. A lot of women in her position would not even be sitting right here with a guy like me in no way in hell. But she stuck by me through thick and thin and still going through me and hoping that it can last a long time. But 20 years after their tragic Burnett, Rodman was fired by the Dallas Mavericks after only 21 days on the team. Rodman has not re-signed with any NBA team for the 1999-2000 season, and he recently celebrated his 39th birthday. That's about the age when most NBA players retire. And as far as his tumultuous on-again, off-again relationship with Carmen Electra, recently Carmen spoke publicly about their relationship, saying, quote, We love each other very much and talk on the phone every day. We definitely have a strong passion for each other, end quote. Some things never die. That's tonight's edition of Hollywood and Crime.